Hi guys, this is Joe from Tequilobang. Today I'm going to show you a new product that I bought. This is the Vilmi, if I'm not wrong, uh, the pronunciation I'm not so sure, the Vilmi Juice Blender. This is a portable blender. If you can see from this sign over here, it says um, it has a 2000 mAh of battery inside and of course you can use a usb to charge it it's actually a usb-c so without further ado let me show you what's inside this is the usb-c cable and over here this is the product it has a very simple design which i liked white in color there's no option for any color and it has only one button over here and on the back itself it has a USB-C port I, I don't know okay let me zoom in yeah it's a, it's a USB-C port whereby you can um, charge it using a USB cable USB-C cable and on and on top of it this is the container whereby you can put your fruits inside okay put your fruits inside so the maximum you can go is according to this is 350 ml and um actually i was thinking that each is glass but it's not first i was thinking that if you spin the thing and a glass would be much better but it is not uh it should be food grade kind of plastic if i'm not wrong i remember i read somewhere in the brochures it is a food grade plastic and i just want to show you a little bit more about this blender okay why i like it is because it has a safety feature but before i go to the safety feature let me show you the blade okay according to the website this is a 3d blade 3d blade and according to the website also it should cut it is a it is a second gen it should cut better and it has higher rpm i've forgotten how high is the rpm and it has a higher rpm so in general it should cut better and it has some safety features like for example right now I wanted to use it without the cover or without the container so you are not able to operate okay. this is a safety feature which I think is very very important if you have a blender uh, uh, a blade like this and then you don't have a safety feature I don't think you like it right so this is a safety feature so once I put on the cover or the container let me tighten it you can see that the blue uh, there's a blue light blinking so it shows that okay now you can use it and how you use it is very simple press and hold <coughs> press again to stop it and um, I think it's quite strong based on how based on um, the arm that I'm holding on to it I think it's really really very strong I'll do a slow mo maybe over here. I'll do a slow mo whereby you can see how fast it spins. And basically, that's it. Very simple design. Okay, maybe you want to take a look inside. It's a very simple design. There's there's a protection over here. I don't think you can take it out. So let me focus. I don't think it can take it out, or I don't want to take it out because it's supposed to um, be segregating the the motor from the from the container. Okay, it acts as a okay. Um, one thing I want to try is to see whether the safety feature really works as advertised or not so let's start this spinning and i try to open it 
midway. You see, it stops. So there's actually a sensor to detect that I did not put in the container properly and it will stop. So right now, it doesn't work. Okay, it's working now. And that's it for this unboxing. Hope you like it. So remember to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of uh, product review. And if you have any question, please put down in the comment section. Thank you. This is quite powerful in terms of the, the, the spinning speed. But then uh, I'm going to do a strawberry milkshake so let me uh, let's see whether it will blend properly or not okay let me fill this uh, container with the strawberry mm, i guess this is a bit dangerous because it's too big so i'm going to cut it into half Okay, the final one. Okay, I'm going to put in the, the milk. I think this should be enough to cover it. Okay, so what you are going to do is you have to flip it over and screw it in until you can see the blue light. Okay, make sure it's tight. Make sure that it's tight. Turn it over. And let the blending begin. Hold. Oh no, it's a lousy demonstration. So it doesn't work. You can see. Okay. A little bit of hiccups because it's still too big. So in future I'll make it smaller. But once it starts to blend, it really works. I'm quite amazed that it can really cut into so fine pieces. Let me shake a little bit. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, I should have gotten another glass to fill it up. Never mind. Let me use back the milk glass. It's done. That's it to blend it. So later part, I'll show you how we can clean it up using clean water and the cleansing function. I'm back. So uh, I fill up this. I cleaned a bit on the container. You see, there's a lot of residue, especially the blade itself. You can see the blade itself. So what you can do is, um, based on what I see, is you can press it, turn on the Okay, clean by right the because of the rotation the blade will be cleaned up properly. 
yeah it's quite clean now you can see let me zoom in it's quite clean now so you need a, a little bit more cleaning Okay, I think it's good enough because uh, there's no way I can clean everything so clean uh, so nicely. So anyway, it is quite a nice function just to clean it like this without anything inside. That's it. Thank you.